And speaking of a new, I, I think about this as the new loser rule. I hate this rule. Major League Baseball, it's not official. It's an idea getting thrown around, so let's not jump off a bridge yet. But Major League Baseball is throwing out an idea here, James, where you have six inning minimums for starting pitchers, and it's going to become a mandatory minimum. Uh, there will be rules uh, against it in case you have to pull them out, right? There's going to be some rules if you give up a certain amount of runs or have a certain amount of pitches or some other things, and none of this is, has gotten ironed out or anything, but they're just throwing out some ideas here. And, I, I, and I'm never against throwing ideas against the wall and seeing what sticks. I am against making it public, <laughs> and this should never have been public. This is the dumbest idea in the world. The idea, though, is to make starting pitching glamorous again, make make starting pitching great again, and at the same time, value that. And let's be honest, it's about hitting. To me, it's just, it's real dumb. I, you're going to force someone to stay in if, they, if they're at a certain amount of pitches. So what if the matchup dictates that you shouldn't? keep the guy in you're gonna all of a sudden you're gonna tell the guy well guess what you're screwed but let's screw you over a little more doesn't make any sense to me and guess what starting pitching is glamorous when the starting pitching is good paul Skeens is getting all the glamour in the world clayton kershaw has been glamorous for years so you just have to teach the guys how to pitch deeper into ball games maybe if they didn't throw max velo at all times they'd be able to go a little deeper into the ball games well, that's a problem. That's what, that's what we're training these guys. We're starting this in, in high school, college, minor leagues, big leagues. And, and they said something like, oh, like this will force guys to train different. No, it won't because it's not the guys that want to train like this. It's Major League Baseball. So Major League Baseball has basically told us um, that you throw the hardest, you, the harder you throw, the more spin you throw, the more off speed pitches you throw, the more strikeouts you get, the better you're going to be and the more money you're going to make. And then they're going to tell us, oh, but you can't do that. You have to pitch six innings. So they're the ones that set the rule or set the standard and now are going to change the rule. They have velocity and spin rates in every single stadium now. And you're telling me like that's that's our fault because we got good at it? How about this? Let's just start here. I have a crazy idea, James. Why don't we learn to hit better? Why don't we teach hitters how to hit instead of trying to teach them how to launch angle exit velocity on every single pitch? What's, what's pretty amazing is some of the best hitters in the league have some of the lowest exit velocities or, or, or slower swings. They're not worried about that stuff. They, they get their hits. Arise, Kwan. You, now you're looking at a guy like Bobby Witt Jr. You're looking at a guy like Aaron Judge. You're looking across Ozuna. Like obviously Shohei, who you, 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 you love all the time. Like, we have these hitters that know how to hit now and are not un, unafraid to do it. And, and, you know, let's, let's promote that. Let's promote a new age of hitting because that's all this rule is. It's not a put the, put the pitching on a new pedestal and glamorous, make it glamorous again. They don't give a crap. They want more runs, and the problem is the pitchers are too good. But the hitters need to be better. Well, why don't we just, you know, change the height and the distance of the mound then? They've done it before. Right. Well, that's the thing is like we keep making all these rules. Every single rule that we have made over the last however many years has been against the pitcher. Yeah. There's only one. There's There's been only one rule that is pro pitcher. And that was having the, the mics or whatever the um, uh, pitch comp. Pitch comp. Yeah, Pitchcom is the only rule that is pro pitcher uh, because of the stealing signs and the reason they changed it because you know they're stealing signs and we're having hitting guys and guys basically you know the Red Sox were stealing every single sign and the Astros were stealing every single sign and it was putting such a black eye on baseball they had to do something that's the problem they had, they had to go to such an extreme that teams were cheating in the World Series Astros you were cheating uh, Red Sox you were cheating and many other teams were cheating. That's how they had to change it. That was the only reason they changed it. And so that's the only advantage they've given pitchers is that we don't have to sit there and look at 15 signs before calling a pitch. Other than that, every rule, the shift, the the bigger bases, the um, the pickoff times, you have to face two, that went minimum of what, three batters. All of these things, the, the, the rule, the timing rule, all of these rules are, are anti-pitcher. And now you're going to try and make another one anti-pitcher. How about this? Teach them how to hit. Teach them how to hit. Teach them how to hit. Promote Kwan. Prom- promote a rise. And stop promoting guys that hit uh, you know, 40 home runs and struck out 200 times. So promoting guys that actually play the game right. You know what they need? They need to send everybody the Fred McGriff, Tom Amansky, 
<laughs> teaching uh, videos. Yes. I, I guarantee. I, I killed it. Oh, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AEU uh, national champions. That's actually my fantasy baseball team name. Back-to-back-to-back <laughs> really? -back -to -back AEU national champions. And it's the, Yes, they need to learn how to basic baseball. Baseball is a game of ebbs and flows. And so right now the pitcher is at an advantage, but we're, I don't think the pitcher advantage is as big as people think it is. I think it's starting to curve down, and the pitcher, the hitters are starting to figure it out because of these guys and i love it I, I guarantee in five more years we're gonna have another 10 guys that are gonna be in this boat of hitting 300 again and, and getting on base and, and wreaking havoc because we're, we're starting to push the player that actually does that stuff i agree